Massachusetts General Hospital. It's late, and Harold Ott, a surgeon, has been working since dawn. He began his day treating patients in the operating room. Now he's working on a treatment that might not be available for decades. The, the reason why we're all working here, we're all working here late, is because we, we want to help patients. We do these experiments okay, because so we know that there is patients that need a replacement organ and can't get one. So. What we're trying with this experiment here is to, to regenerate a functional rat heart outside of the rat's chest cavity. The reason why we chose rat hearts as a model is because the anatomy is actually fairly comparable to the human heart. Rat hearts might seem very small, but they are a very good model for human disease. The first step in this experiment is to take a heart from a dead rat and place it in a decellarization machine. Basically what we're doing is washing away all the cells to leave us with a scaffold of the heart. There's no living cells left on that heart. They've got to get this part right. Because when this procedure is finally perfected for human use, it's crucial that there be no cells that could potentially be rejected by a future recipient of that organ. As a next step in this experiment, we isolate cells, put them in a syringe, and inject them into the scaffold with a needle. We repopulate that scaffold with new living cells that we hope can develop into heart muscle cells. Ott injects living rat heart cells deep into the structure of the decellularized heart. If he were growing a human heart, these cells would come from the person whose heart he is trying to save. The next step is then to place it in a bioreactor that simulates the natural environment of a developing heart. The rat heart allows us to test out new technologies on a smaller scale because Simply put, if it doesn't work in a rat heart, it won't work in a human heart. Four days later, this heart from a rat cadaver is now completely repopulated with new living cells. But will it beat? Harold administers a shock the same way a paramedic jolts a heart attack victim back to life. The first moment when you look at this heart and you see it take its own beat, what becomes overwhelming in that very moment is the hope that this might be the first step towards growing an organ that can be transplanted. The beating of this tiny heart signifies a strange and remarkable point in human history. Our ability to reanimate a dead organ.